How many of you face situations like mine where I receive a file from a colleague and it has links, I start panicking, I don't know where they are coming from. So let's learn how to get all the links that you have in your file. So let's go. The quickest way to get your external links in Excel is just to go to data, edit links and you get this menu. In this case, I have two links. Now there are some problems with this approach. First of all, if you look at the path, it is truncated. Second of all, I don't know which cells are linked to file one and which cells are linked to file two. And if I have a lot of links, it's going to be super cumbersome. Let me show you something better. So let's close this. We're going to go to formulas, name manager, new. Here we're going to call it get links. And here equal links. As simple as this. Open, close parenthesis, press OK. Close it. And now we're going to use it. Now I'm going to start with Office 365 because it's easier. So equal get links. Press enter and here you can see we get two links. Now, if you don't have Office 365, don't worry. I'm going to show you how to do it in a bit. Since the links are like this, I'm just going to transpose it. So transpose, close parenthesis, press enter. There you go. Now, for older versions of Excel, this is an array, right? So I need to pick the items of the array. Let's start. Equal index, open parenthesis. My array is get links comma row number i'm gonna start with one and column number is an optional parameter i'm not gonna use it close parenthesis press enter you double click and you get file one now obviously if i put two i'll get file two so how to get them i don't want to start writing one two three four five i'm lazy so what i'm gonna do here is use row and select cell a1 close parenthesis so the row of a1 is one if you just drag it like this, the row of A2 is 2, so that's the second item, and so on. Now, if you drag it more, you're going to have a ref error. How to deal with this? You can just do if error, open parenthesis, this is my value, comma, the value if it's an error is double quotation, double quotation, which is a blank. Close parenthesis, and now if we double click, there you go. So you have some extra in case you have more links. Now what happens if you have a new link? Let's just go here. I'm just going to create a fake one. So here you have file one. I'm just going to do file three. Press enter. We don't have file three. It doesn't matter. So you get a ref error here. No worries. But if you come here, it's not updated. So what do we do in this case? You can do control alt and then you do F9 and it will refresh. There you go, you get the third link. Since I have the links now, I want to see which cells are linked to those files. So what I could do is just take this, Control C, we're gonna go to Paste, then you have Paste Special as Value, and there you go. So we're gonna take File 1, Control C Escape, and then Control F to Search. We're gonna put File 1 here in the workbook, so select Workbook, and you can do Find All. Now you can find all the cells that are linked. So for example, if I go here to bonus, I can see that John is linked. I can check the formula and remember what happened. Another thing you could do, if they are on the same sheet or you want to select the same sheet, you can press on shift and then arrow down and you can see the cells are selected. So I know that all those cells have this link and I can do it for the second one. Let's just close this. And now we can go to data, edit links. Now that I know what my links are doing, I can start using the menu. So I can update the values from my other files. I can change the source of this link, for example. So if I click, it will ask me where is the file and I have to look for it. I can do open source. It will open the file. I can break a link if I don't want it anymore and check status. It will tell me whether my link is working or not. You can see. This one I made up, so there is an error. 